This is one of my absolute favorite Notion use cases. It's a dashboard for uh, consulting, coaching, uh, any uh, one-to-one -one relationship that you have um, with with an individual, and it uses uh, linked databases. So let's do um, client dashboard. It's a new page, and we're actually going to stick with a page. Your three favorite words, create linked database, hit the plus sign, create linked database. And it's going to pull up. Oops, oops, sorry. Create linked database. It pulls up our databases. So mine is going to be called JJ Tasks C2 for cohort two. And boom, we have our list of tasks. I'm going to blow, I'm going to air this out a little bit with um, some full width. Um, and you know what? I just want uh, tasks that are coming soon. So I could filter. And remember, when you filter and sort on a view, it they don't carry over. It's just to this page. So I'll go to uh, filter and I will say only show me tasks where there is a due date uh, is um, due date is not empty. Okay, but you see now we have these two tasks that are done, and so we want to also get rid of those. So filter and done. That's my check mark is not checked. Perfect. And then I'm going to blow out some of the columns just to make this super tight. So we go into properties, and then I'll remove context. I'll remove date create. I'll, re I'll keep the done status. I'll keep the due date, duration, flag, phase. Um, I'll keep project. I'll get rid of priority, and I'll move project to the second. So now we have a clean little database, which, by the way, if we wanted to, we could throw this into a, a toggle. Um, do soon. That's my toggle, and then I'll just drag it in. All right, then we might want to do a toggle called reading list. And so here I want to pull in, so first I'm going to modify my, my reading list library. Um, and so then I'm going to go into JJ library C2 for cohort two. Um, I'll add in a uh, column and then I will, um, I will make the, uh, this column a uh, multi-select and this I'll call project name. Now you don't want to call this client name because chances, if you put multiple clients here, and again, these are just for links, um, people will be able to click in. So, well, let's call one, one pro project, um, you know. Uh, let's say project wave and the other will be project sun. Sorry, not that original. And then I want to share these individual, these are each individual articles. So I want to share wave, sun, and then I might just do this just to cop to show you. Okay, so now our projects um, are set up. Um, then next I go back to my client dashboard, um, open up my toggle, I'll hit slash create linked database. And this pulls into my library, into my library. And again, we see this giant table, but we want a view. We want a gallery view. So we'll call this gallery view. Then we will, um, I, like, I like to make them, the images smaller. So we'll change the sizes um, to, we go to properties, image card size, small. And then we're gonna have to do a filter. So the filter we'll use is, let's say we're doing project surf. So we'll say add filter where a project name is or contains wave, sorry. 
So those were the four articles that came up for Project Wave. And I always like to add the link. So um, go on to Properties, and it, I select the link, and it pulls up the link. So there you have it, a client dashboard. Now just remember that if uh, you share this, you would share this individually with, with the owner of Wave through invite a person. Now remember, this library uh, table is public. So Wave or Sun could click into this and see, oh, Sun is assigned this article, Wave is assigned this article. Currently, there's no way around that. So obviously, don't share anything that e is even remotely personal through this method. I think it's really more for like links and resources. I uh, hope that helps.